Hey everyone, Tina here with Tina's Inspired Art. Thanks for joining me today. We are gonna have some fun today. I thought I'd pop on here, show my face. I don't typically show my face in all of my pores because I just get right into it. But today I just thought I'd show my face and let you know who the artist is if you haven't already met me. Um, I am going to share with you today my process for doing my Dutch pour. We're going to have a really pretty, pretty color palette for today. It's a color palette that I have not ever worked with today, so I'm pretty excited about it. We're going to work with our PPG house interior paint today. It is going to be white. I thought about doing the gray again. Um, I've made a couple of gray ones recently, and so I thought about doing gray one, but I think today I'm gonna stick with the white uh, based on my color choices uh, for today. So I'm going to focus you back down on what we're doing here on this canvas. It's an 18 by 24 inch today on an artist loft gallery wrapped canvas. It's a larger one. Um, and so I think the design is really going, going to be that much uh, prettier as an end result. So uh, wish me luck on that. And we're gonna get right, right to this one. So I'm gonna focus you back down on the main event, so. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're gonna get ready and cover this canvas. But right before we do that, and I'll put you on fast forward for that part of it. Right before we do that, I'm gonna talk to you about our color choices for today. We are going to be working with a new color and it's called Pewter. And it's actually a new brand that I'm trying out as well. The brand is called Pouring Masters. And so this is a really, really pretty pewter color. And then I'm gonna go in with a Liquitex Silver on top of that. And then this new color is a wine color. And this is also from Pouring Masters. It's a... Uh, Kind of like a metallic wine. Then on top of that, we're gonna go with a Liquitex um, rose, pink rose. A Pebeo Studio uh, Acrylics. This is the Precious Gold. So that's what this gold color is. And then I have uh, Iridescent White by Liquitex. So that's my color choices for today. I think what I might do is incorporate the Liquitex White up in a couple areas, um, but end up with it on top as well. So that is my color choices. We're going to put you on fast forward I'm gonna flood the canvas, cover my sides, pop my bubbles, and then we'll come back and do this design together. So stay tuned to the very end. We're going to really have fun with this one, guys. You won't wanna miss it. Hey guys, I'm back and we have covered the canvas, covered our sides, and I've popped my bubbles. So I think we're about ready to begin. I've even taken my spatula along the underneath and I've grabbed those drips as well. So I'll be doing that a couple times 
throughout the process, but I did want to get that right away so I can keep my composition, at least try to keep my composition on top and not flowing over the sides today. Again, with my composition or design that I uh, would like to lay out, I really want it to stay on the surface area, not over the sides. So that's why I do that. Um, sometimes they do creep over, but hey, I just do the best I can and we hope for the best. All right, we are going to start. So let's get ready to get this one going. I'm excited with these different colors. Okay, starting out with this new color. It's a little pewter color. I'm going to start off with, I kind of want to make a little mark for myself. Right about there. Designing this. This pewter is coming out a little bit fast. It is a pretty cool color though. It's like a metallic y color. That might work. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> this comes out really fast. Now let's go in with the silver on top of that. little bit of a clog. If you have a clog, just you can just stick like a little pin in there and pull it out. There we go. Still clogged in there. There we go. I got it. Now. Let's get the silver. I did these colors together, but I should have I should have got that done. All right, now for this wine color. I'm excited about this wine color, especially because I have never worked with this wine color. It is so cool looking. Beautiful color. I'm hesitant. Oh, yeah. The pink. I think the pink. 
Un copete de mesa. It takes me a while to pick my colors because I go back and forth, back and forth on what color I want so often. And what I think will look good together. Now I wanted to put just a little bit of this iridescent white on top of that. I was going to go in with the gold after that, but I decided with the iridescent white. And I, now that I look at this, I don't even know if I want to put the gold on here. I already had the silver. Let me think about that. Do I put the gold? Maybe I put the gold just in certain areas. Let me look at that. Maybe not all the way. I'll look at this first and see if I want to carry it all the way down. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just carry it all the way down. I was going to just do it on the edges, but I decided that I would do it all the way through it. All right. So that's that, and I'm going to add just a tad bit more of this iridescent white on top of that gold. That gives it some contrast that I'm looking for. All right, I think we're ready, guys. I think. So far, I like the composition, so I'm curious how it's going to blow out and look as an end result. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to start in this area and work my way up and around. Here we go. made it all celled up. There are just cells everywhere. That is crazy looking. It's 
not what I expected, <laughs> but it's not that I don't like it. I think I do. I'm just thinking it's crazy if I I'm going to grab this little area right here first. Didn't like how that looked. I'm going to put my um, signature style on this one and it'll definitely come together a little better. Um, this area right here is quite different and I think I'm going to fix it a minute here. Got to just grab it. Um, fix it. Yeah, I think that's a little better. I can drag it with the uh, paintbrush too. Um, I think I'm going to blow this area right here real quick before I show you guys. That's a little better. Just a few places that I think I just needed some help. Right over here too. I am going to get the blow dryer real quick. I gotta fix one area over here. Just don't like how it blew out. It doesn't have enough paint on it, so I can't do it that way. What I could do is lay down a little bit more white paint, but I'll see if I can do it this way. Sometimes you just gotta work with it a little bit more. All right, I think that's good. I'm gonna take you down for a closer look at what it looks like right now before we start manipulating it. All right, guys, so here we are. Before we start working on it a little bit more and you can see all of those little cells, they're just crazy like I have never seen such crazy cells popping up. 
hoping that it'll look better, but I'm not as thrilled with how it looks right now. I like the composition and the colors look pretty cool together, but it's so different. Let's see if I can work some magic into this and make it work to where I'm liking it a little bit more. So stay tuned to the end, guys. Let's see if we can get this a little bit better. Okay, I've got my paintbrush and my rag right here that I can use to wipe off. All right, I'm going to put my focal point kind of right in here. So I will drag from here into about right here. Make that center. That's good. The gold that I put in here really did get kind of lost. Um, there's a lot of little cells popping up with the gold in it, which is kind of cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see how this comes out, guys. I, I hope it'll look really good. It's something neat. It almost looks like there's little stars everywhere. It's just so, so different. <laughs> um. That pewter, it could be that, you know, maybe I poured a tad bit too much pewter. We'll see at the end. We'll see what it looks like. I am kind of, um, it's growing on me right now that I'm working on it. I'm, Kind of liking it a lot more because it's coming together a little bit better for me. So we'll see. That wine color, I'll have to say that wine color in here, it's definitely a winner. It is super pretty. But wow, this is so cool looking. It is very unique. We have had some crazy thunderstorms lately. This time of time of year is just crazy with the weather. I'm gonna have to fix that center point later on. But I think it's coming together. I'm glad I've got the white background on this one because the colors are so deep and dark that it helps with keeping it um, bright enough. Probably gonna put you guys on fast 
forward for the rest of this because it's taking a long time to think about um, how this design is going to come together. But yeah, I will definitely pull you back in for a flyover on the final result. So stay tuned. The composition, I'll have to say, looks gorgeous. And I am, I am going to make this work, guys. It's going to look really, really stunning after we're done with it. So stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back with this one we just finished. So what do you think about it? It's definitely different. I think it really did come out pretty. I'm just not a huge, huge fan of all the cells that popped up. There's just so many. And I typically don't have a lot of cells in all of my paintings everywhere. So, yeah, it's not my favorite, but the composition, the colors do work. Um, so it kind of reminds me of an old pattern, like, like you would see these, I don't know, on scarves or dresses or something but it has something in my memory about seeing all of these colors and the pattern that it's made it just reminds me of something but I just can't put my finger on it but what do you guys think about this one I'm looking forward to when it dries to see how it really looks I think it will definitely shimmer there is some shimmer if I can show you. I can't. I'm trying to zoom in. Well, it's not wanting to, but when it dries, I hope that it really, really looks pretty. So. You guys let me know if you like something like this and uh, leave me some comments. And if you haven't already done so, please check out my website at www.tinasinspiredart.com. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.